It is a job. It is a career. You know, you have to uh, give it the attention that it deserves. Hi there, I'm Asha. I'm the director of growth and an agent with Schofield Realty. And we have here... Jonathan Bergeron. I'm a residential real estate agent. So how long have you been with us? I've been with you guys four months. I'm in my fifth month right now here. So just under a half a year at this point. With you being with us just under half a year, can you tell us how many transactions you've closed with Schofield? Closed at this, oh gosh. I've had six closings with you guys, um, three in escrow as of right now, and Pipeline is growing, submitting a lot of offers pretty much weekly. Yeah, absolutely insane opportunity. We're gonna do our agent perspective. So I just wanna hear on the process of getting your license transferred, um, getting started with your mentor, picking them, starting the training process with them, and then starting working the company leads. Super simple, honestly easier than I thought. So was that the first brokerage that you trained, changed from? Technically. That was my first one in Nevada, mm -hmm. but I moved from Rhode Island. I had to get relicensed here. Whole um, 120 hours all over again. Yeah. Oh God. Just to take a, <laughs> a 50 minute test. So now after an agent joins us, there's a few steps that we go through. So first is interviewing with your mentor. Mm -hmm. So how did that go? I thought it was the best case scenario, honestly, because yeah. I could feel out the type of business that each mentor does and kind of the way that they conduct themselves. Everybody has different personalities, different perspectives on how to run their own business. And working with somebody that has the same ideologies as you in terms of conducting business and, and kind of aligning with somebody that you can mimic is probably the best scenario. And we have a very diverse group of people that run their businesses very different ways. So I thought it was a really good opportunity to kind of link up with somebody that was aligned with the way that I was already kind of assuming that I would be running my business. So can you remind me who's your mentor? So I, uh, I am mentored by Sahant and he was the fit that I took um, because he works a lot like me. It's kind of don't overthink anything, just do it, get it done quick and efficiently, just very, very high standard. And that works really well with me because it kind of kept me on pace. I was getting overwhelmed with things at first and he was like, no, cut it out. Just, yeah. <laughs> this is what you gotta do. It's super easy. Don't overthink it. And that's what I needed. So getting started the training process with us you know it's the picking your mentor it's getting through your first whether it was first 50 or first 100 then getting through first 15 when we put you on the web leads then going to zillow so can you offer some insight i think the biggest importance is seeing the value in that it is you know paid leads that you're getting i have kind of a big perspective on this because i've i've done inbound leads before mm -hmm. in uh kind of different elements for real estate. So I've had other perspectives on what inbound leads are and how valuable it is to have a lead that is coming to you, not you trying to originate a lead from nothing, cold calling, door knocking, stuff like that. Some people might not see the light at the end of the tunnel because obviously the, the best leads that we get are going to be the, the Zillow Live connections, but those other online leads are very valuable as well. So I went really deep into making sure that I was um, facilitating those just as importantly. Some people just try to blow through them just to get to Zillow. And I think that that's the wrong way to do it because you don't learn the systems that we have in place the right way and the efficient way. Right. Um, because it's all just going to set you up so that way you can facilitate not just your online leads, but also your Zillow leads to the highest efficiency possible for the way that you run your business. Anything that you want to say to agents or anything that would have made a difference to you when you were considering making a change? The reason that I joined was the pressure. You have to, you know, keep your conversion metrics and being accountable to your mentor and really showing up. If there is anything that I would change, it's just make people come to the office more, like pressure people to actually be full time, <laughs> right. which we do. That's the biggest yeah. thing I love that you hit on yeah. that is you see the difference when the agents that start, it's the ones that come in and that actually give it like you yourself, at least three days a week, four hours a day, you are in this office. And if I'm not, I'm showing, I probably show no less than 15 to 20 properties a week. So if I'm not in the office, I am still in the office. Yep. That's the way everybody needs to treat it. It is a job. It is a career. You know, mm -hmm. you have to uh, 
uh, give it the attention that it deserves. And that's absolutely.